Hey, what up, what up, what up? Happy, what is it, Tuesday? Oh my goodness. Tuesday. Oh my goodness. Hey, Vin, how's it going? Clinton, good to see ya. Hey, friends. A little pie bogan in the house. Got back from some pump, going to the gym. Actually, no, nah, I just did the elliptical for 30 minutes and then did some machines, so. Not, not that good, you know, gotta get in shape for that Dev Summit, so. And probably my wedding, so. Probably more important, so. I got some uh, homemade cold brew. I have this like cool little contraption I got from the store. And then I uh, just put some almond macadamia nut milk in there. It's pretty good. It's a little bit, I added a little bit too much milk. But it's kind of afternoon delight, you know. Mm, pretty good. It, it tastes very much like cold brew coffee. Like the, the notes pierce of cold brew are just, it tastes like cold brew. <laughs> For the most part, I would say. Ah, goodness, goodness gracious. John is not with me, as you can see on our Tuesday streams. He's on a uh, holiday. He was on holiday. Now he's back on holiday. I don't know. I went into Teams, and I was like, I don't see I don't see him online. He's offline. Not cool. Um, so it's just me. You just got to deal with me. But we got some pull requests in there. So, And uh, uh, to the, the live.net website. So I'm pretty excited about that. In general, I just finished. I was gonna stream earlier, and then, and then I was working with Anthony Chu on my Signal R demo. Got all that working. Azure Signal R ridiculousness it was very much exciting. Uh, yeah, did a bunch of stuff today, so it was been real hectic. I was like, I don't know if I have time to stream. I got to record a podcast later. I got to edit a podcast later, but it's fine. You can't see me. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Um. Hmm. Yes. Everyone can see me. Can you hear me? I'm looking. Hey, friends. Okay, people can see. Five by five. Everyone hears me fine. I like this. Good. Clint, I don't know what's going on. Refresh that browser. First that brother, what is with my computer? Oh, I'm probably logged, am I logged into another? Okay, I see myself, I see myself. Oh, I should probably bring that back up. I should probably bring the chat room over. Where's my chat room at? Good, 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 good. Can I say a few words on my Signal R demo? Sure. Yeah, so, let me open up this pop-out chat. There we go. Okay, so. My Signal R demo, yeah, so let me pop over here. So we're gonna be live streaming the Dev Summit. Pretty exciting, we just announced that today. Uh, let me put that blog in there. I'm super excited. I've been working on this quite a bit uh, with with the team. So we're gonna be streaming the Microsoft track, basically. Um, all the Microsoft presenters. And I believe that 
the team, the Dev Summit team, they're also going to record the other sessions, from my understanding, or going to try to at least. But we're going to live stream the keynotes and then live stream uh, the Microsoft sessions on YouTube, and then they'll be archived later on YouTube and Channel 9. So yeah, I'm doing a full session on building mobile apps with real-time apps with uh, Signal R and, and Xamarin and web and kind of everything that you would go and try to build. So uh, my session, they're all 45 minute sessions, which is pretty cool. Um, if you go to the website, you can find the times on there. I, I didn't even put the times just in case something changes and I don't have to rush to update the blog. But on Thursday, but but up but up there it is 305. So around three o'clock. So I'm going to be talking about what what signal R is, how it works, how may you want to use it, the different use cases. And I got three different demos that I'm doing. One, it's kind of a combination at build. There were a few different signal R sessions. Uh, I did one and then Anthony Chu did one. Um, I'm kind of combining those together and kind of showing a very wide spectrum of how you might use the different signal R services for different purposes and how easy it is to kind of integrate into your app. So gonna show like some easy stuff. As always, Clinton being absolutely ridiculous with the tier one subs, gifting them out. Thank you, sir. Uh, congratulations to Smab UK, Dr. Mikachu. That's kind of like a Pikachu code monkey. Jim Walker and Lotan B in the house getting some sweet emotes. And I got some new emotes. Let me see if they work. Uh, Nothing is impossible. I might redo it just a little bit because it's a little small, but we'll see. The just do it came out pretty good. So <laughs> thank you, Clinton. I appreciate that. Number one, number one fan, Clinton Rocksmith people. Clinton Rocksmith people. Clinton Rocksmith people. All too kind. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the signal art talk. Pretty, pretty excited about it. Nothing is impossible. Uh, all right, cool. So that's the Dev Summit. Um, bup, 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 bup. Yeah, tune in. It's gonna be crazy. So how does it, how does it turn out in here? See. That's not bad. I might redo it so it's like a bigger Shia buff. It's, it's so hard that they, this they're so small and I'm not very good at GIMP. So no, Clinton with the. Nothing is impossible. Clinton's like I never want my hype hype to to go down ever. <laughs> You're silly. I love you. Thank you so much, Jim. Of course, uh, bits, subs, any profit off of that is donated to the Duke Langer Foundation, D Foundation, supporting the beautiful Duke Langers of the world. Uh, so yeah, let's go to John Galloway's get up here. Nothing is impossible. Everything, everything is everything is possible. That's correct. I mean, my computer's being a little slow. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, so we had some. Some work being done last week. John and I put in the countdown on the website. So let me go and run this pup here. Am I still logged in on a different account? Shouldn't be. Computer is computer's running really slow. This is not ideal. Let's see if it's gonna run. Let's see. Yeah, last week on our index page, we decided that we were gonna add some code in here. We figured out date timestamps, we figured out UTC times, we fixed all that shenanigans. Um, and I think this is gonna build. Yeah, we have this like is on air, has upcoming show, and then we have these details that we put in there, and then there's a countdown timer. And what I told John I was gonna do is, is if there is an is on air, I was gonna put the, embed the YouTube player in there, and kind of like all the links and things. But we're gonna try to figure out how to do that today. With this computer. Yeah, maybe I left myself logged into other accounts. Sometimes when I leave myself into other accounts and it hates me. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so we have the upcoming shows. We got badges. 
we need to do a few things, which is like make this not as bold, put some spacing here, do this go somewhere. That would be <laughs> that'd be good if there's show notes. We're gonna dig out show notes, um, which I like. I also think that the dip background colors of these shows should be a little bit different, in my personal opinion. But I could figure that out one day. Looks pretty good. All right. Yeah. So that's the countdown, and then let's see here. Let me see something here. I'm way up, I feel blessed. I feel blessed. Rico Carne, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to stream the... There's the Donovan keynote, and then there's like pre-keynote kickoffs. I'm not sure if we're going to stream those. Um, the... There's some reason and rationale behind that. Not that I don't want to, but uh, mostly because uh, some legalities and rights and streaming rights and people. So let me um, let me switch back over to my webcam while I just... I'm going to figure out if I have another user logged in here, and I think I do, and that's why my computer is being all slow. Yeah, like I was talking to the team earlier, and let me see here, slash... I don't think I'm logged in. Okay, let me just. I don't know why it's being all funky. Yeah, like the the main issue with with kind of streaming stuff is it's not our conference, so it's not like we can be like by attending this conference or speaking at this conference, you have given us the rights to you know when you walk into like a com like a a show. And they're like, oh, you know, by attending this show, you give us the rights of blah, 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 blah. Um, so that's why we're doing all the Microsoft speakers in general. So um, and those will be the Microsoft keynote. So it'll be our keynote and then Donovan's keynote. But I think they're going to record all those. So you should be able to see them later. So I don't want to get Sela involved, legal involved. Not my not my thing. Yeah. So. All right, so there was a pull request though. I want to go through a pull request before we go through. We had a few issues, and Sir Juan uh, from Iran did a pull request here to add a hover effect. Let's, let's pull that puppy down here. It looks like he added a YouTube show CSS. Oh, cool. Nice, I like that. Let's pull this pup down. And we can take a look at some CSS. Let's check out the GitHub issue. And then I think that's probably a YouTube show. We'll rerun it and see what happens. So because before there was really no hover or anything like that on top of here. And I really wanted it to sort of look like something was hovering when you hover because like when you hover over this go somewhere it's pretty clear that you can click on it and we'll, we'll add this everything will be kind of clickable but it'd be really nice if that was there let's see mm. oh i probably need to but my css is all cached let's do a new incognito window here When in doubt, open an incognito window. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, I love it. Nice. I like that it's also underneath that too. That's really cool. Like still new. Perfect. Looks great. Shipping it. Awesome. Awesome. Also do a let's do a screenshot on this pup. Snipping tool. Do a delay of two seconds. Watch this episode. Oop. Nice. Love a good PR. Close and comment. Oh, merge. Oh, open. Reopen. Oh, gosh. There we go. Confirm merge. Okay, now we can close it. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Semi-transparent. Shipped. Close issue. Boom. Thank you so much. Love a good pull request. Because, yeah, I wouldn't have really... I'm not a CSS master, so not good at it. Okay, cool. So what we want to accomplish is that there is this sort of drop down here, which needs to be styled up. But... See, that's what they do here. These are way too big. But what we need to do is put the video in here when it's live. So I'm pretty sure that how this works is... Fatality. I need to go back to master probably. Nope. Stop debugging. Changes? Didn't change anything. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Let's sync this. Boop. So let's see. Embed YouTube video HTML. That uh, I wonder how you can get it to automatically adjust the YouTube video and HTML that auto sizes. Uh, I'm sure this is a great website that's right on my alley here. <laughs> ah, video, absolutely. Ah, yeah, that's what I want. I don't want a max, like max width, max height. Let's see, bootstrap. Video CSS. Fatality. Kind of curious if Bootstrap, Bootstrap, Bootstrap video. I was just kind of curious if there's an embed that already kind of does it. Embed responsive. No, I go. That's how I, yeah, you gotta Google everything. But the the key is not to click on the first link all the time. I kind of like to browse a little. I like to do a little browsing, just a little browsing. Like, oh, what's going on in here? Oh, I like this. This is kind of it's kind of cool. Let's see here. Because <clears throat> here I don't want the M Bootstrap. I want the Get Bootstrap, which is I think the official website. I'm pretty sure. All right, so this is gonna be the video beautiful all right 16 by 9 is what it is cool 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 so we'll put this in here if it's on air that's cool and then what we'll do is oh let me undo that hold on let me sync this up really quick because my thought here is to um, there we go. My thought would be to add this in iframe responsive and then here we have to figure out this URL but I think what we did in the code behind here is we have a on air show and has on air and if there is an on air show perfect. So here, should be able to do this here. How do I do that? I, think I can do... Uh, see, Razor combine. Hmm. Mm. 
Okay, so I think I can do like that. And then I thought I could do that I could do on air show dot ID. That's not correct. Oh, dollar sign. Great. Dollar sign. Oh, and then put this in here. Then an at sign in there. No. Oh, model dot on air show on air show dot ID. Yeah, because ID. So the ID, how we did this was the show ID is going to be the YouTube ID string. Boom. Okay, and so now. What we need to do is do that if I'm on air as upcoming show. looping through this is wrong. Boop. Get rid of that. Oh, yeah, this is actually correct. How do I do comments? Continue. Why not use an Angular Spa framework? Oh, yes. So the how we're building this, even though it's a single page uh, application, Vasion, uh, we're integrating this into the uh, dot .net website. So it is gonna be a standalone, but it's actually gonna be part of this entire website. So it already this already is an ASP.NET Core and MVC application. So we're integrating it into that uh, into that ecosystem and there's no other dependencies like Angular or anything like that. This website is straight up ASP.NET Core, uh, Razor Pages, Razor Templating, you know, stuff like that. So when you go to community and you'll tap on community standups, then it'll be this. Else we would probably go down some route like that. But for now, it's just like we're doing this and then we're going to create an API for it too. So, so here's the on-air thing. So we probably want to do this. And then what we could do. Does that make sense why we're doing it that way? So let's see here. Join. So this one, what we could do, we can, yeah, copy paste this, and we'll do. This is a. This is the. How you know that it's actually live is that there will be a sample data. We'll have. And schedule start time and an actual start time, but no end time. That should do it. I, think, I wonder how our. I gotta look at our CSHTML here. Also, if you're watching, um, what is that? Let me. No, it's sorry. I have one more emote that I can create. I may redo the Shia LaBeouf one, but I do have one more emote. I think I was going to do a mini Mots in there. Mini Mots. Whoa, that's ginormous. Um, that totally works, though. That is uh, the largest, <laughs> largest thing I've ever seen. Uh, check back here to watch and ask questions. Then look at our... Okay, so if I look at here, it has upcoming shows. Else if. Else. Oh. Should go in. Oh, 
Bastian asks, does, uh, I love random questions, don't worry. Is Shell, let's see, does Shell slash, I'm gonna reword it a little bit, Bastian. Sounds like you're saying like, is Shell the answer to Flutter? Um, no, no, it's, it's, it's not. I mean, um, Shell is just an optional way of, or something come down on me so shell is just a way of easily constructing an application uh, and letting it handle your application structure so it is a way of combining a basically shell takes and says Let, let's organize your application and all the pages into a single file and Inside of that file, you can specify the type of navigation you want, bottom tabs, top tabs, flyout navigation. It does a lot of things like URL navigation. It does deep linking, things like that. So it's just a, um, a basically based on the feedback from all of our developers of wanting an easier way of constructing and building their application. That's what Shell does uh, in general for them. Um, uh, I think that Flutter probably does I mean, multiple things. We already do. We've done cross-platform for over a decade, so I think I think we're on the the win, leading board there. I think the reason a lot of people enjoy some Flutter stuff is like a rich tool set. Maybe there's like you know they have a lot of cool widgets, um, and the team's obviously working expanding that out. But we have a rich ecosystem of thousands upon thousands of of open source con controls and also um, great uh, vendors for like Telerik Sync Fusion. And some people like that MVU modeling style, right? With like no no XAML and just code, which you can of course do in Xamarin. But like that's their go-to, which has that hot reload capability. So I'm not a Dart person. I'm a IDE person. I like my C sharp. I like my XAML. Um, but very different things. Both doing cross-platform, but they also render differently too. So like for us, going to the native platform is really important. So we get advantage of all that good stuff. So when iOS 13 comes out. You just get everything day one. So, anyways, um, I don't know if that helps at all. So, all right. So, how do I make this a max size?
wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. Clint, thank you for the uh, subs. That's uh, absolutely ridiculous and completely unnecessary. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, but you're awesome, as always. Uh, so, of course, the me man coming through. Nothing is impossible. Today was a good day. Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh, jeez. Sweet gift subs from the main man, Clinton Rocksmith, never coming down off of his leaderboard, apparently. Actually, I don't know how it works. What is it? Funny, maybe the gifting does stuff. I think the gifting brings you down because other people then sub, maybe? I don't know how that works. Oh, jeez. Nothing is impossible. Uh... Thank you so much, of course, Clinton. I super appreciate that. Ilk Rail, Chicken Wing, Lash Lawn in the house, Quack, and Tobo coming through uh, with the gift subs from the Clinton. Now you get sweet emotes and, of course, great, great things to the Duke Langer Foundation. I appreciate that. Some people dream of success. While you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing, nothing is impossible. impossible. Right, let's see here. Maybe that's a percentage. You know what I mean? Like, I'm curious if, like, if I do 50 in here, if that is not there, I bet that's it. Maybe. No? Do it either. Hmm. Oh, Vas. Oh, I'm going to wait until this goes. Nothing is impossible. Max width. Uh, so that's definitely 100. Max height 1. Oh, I wonder if I just put in a style class. I want it to be the Our <laughs> bits, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. <laughs> a little shy in there. Um, why doesn't Xamarin Mac have all the binding? It should have the bindings. I don't know. Did you open some issues on it? Send me an email, mots at microsoft.com, and we'll figure it out with the team and ask with the PM what's going on there. But most of the binding should be there. They're sometimes it should be there. But yeah, shoot me an email. Let me know. You can also use max with max height as needed. Bootstrap. Bootstrap max width of inner. Mm hmm. Okay, so there's a Jumbotron. Not help. Of embed. Container fluid is the one used. Oh, container fluid. Oh, you think I need to put this maybe in a... When in doubt, throw it in a div. Inner fluid, and then wrap that div in it. And then ideally, I mean, my idea is that like this, I know it's an embed responsive, but I would hope that it could did it uh. okay so someone says added all these things enter update container fluid and put all of the bed responsive items. Dead responsive. Okay. Okay, so we put it in that. Okay, so correct. Is that all these random things? Who knows what that any of that means? All 
Right now it's nice and small. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Uh. Are the Xamarin blobs? Let's look. <coughs> oh, in Foundation? Yeah, you can always get to all of those in general, like if you invoke stuff. There's probably a reason for it. I would just ask the team. But Chris Hammond's here. He's the, the PM on it. I can definitely ask. If there's something that you need specifically, let me know, and then we can check it out. There are probably specific reasons why they don't do it. I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. But I have to ask the team. Um, all right, so let's look at what I just did. Now there's a tiny video. Well, this is not very helpful. Like, yeah. I just want it to be like centered max width. Ah. I see. This is saying, oh, I see. This is saying height. This is 100, per, 100 here, and this is height 25 of that. I see. I see. I see. That's not what you what I want. Adding bottom to set the height of the element. You can property along with the give it a max width. I wonder if it's somewhere in the live.asp.net. Gotta be. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Partial YouTube show. Previous show. Uh-huh. Okay, live show partial. Oh, these partials. Where do I go to partial? Shared. Live show partial. They have a embed responsive play video. What is that? Source. Crazy. All right, so they actually are using a oh, hangout in bed. Whatever that is, is probably what we want. Probably some CSHTML banana. Hangout in bed. Ooh, okay. So we're going to steal this from inside of here. There's probably some logical. Stuff. Go. Oh. YouTube show. Oh, interesting. With all these little things in. Yeah. Hang out in bed. Oh, CSS. In height. I guess I could set the maximum height of it. Or just the height of it, maybe. Like, if I just set the... I set this equal to... CSS. Let's definitely put that CSS in here. Probably need it. Alright, so I don't like hang out in bed though, but all this. I 
have show embed here. Let's see what that does at least. Does the CSS update? Still very big. But my imagination here is that the Jumbotron height should only be a certain size. That's probably what it is. Jumbotron max height. Jumbo. Jumbotron max height. You set embed hangout and set it in. I did set it. Hmm. I set this on this thing here, which is what they did. And there's. There's a Jumbotron setting. Yeah, probably a Jumbotron. Jumbotron. So it's just a background size. It has a min height. We can put in some. They have a URL. Hmm. You can add that in there. Here, let's look. Right, CSS. to put all the customization down at the bottom for some reason. I feel like that's kind of the right thing to do. So, are there medias in there? No. Background size. Min height. Hmm. Definitely on that background. Oops. It just says min height. Background size, 920. I guess that's setting the background of image. Don't really seem to do anything. I wonder if... How do I... Control shift r is how i do it there we go Control shift r will get rid of stuff so that's still really big all right I like to do like a height on it. Do anything either. Oh, it did. I guess that, that, that can't be right. Let's, oh, let's say now we're at 300. So this looks a little bit more accurate, but now that is not Jumbotron. What have you said Jumbotron title to more higher quality? It, you would think that this would be, oh, like the the height of this thing is just not being responsive. Like this, this thing, this embed, adding zero.
could do this in uh, Xamarin app very easily. Uh, well, at least like this is responsive, right? That's good. I just don't know how they made it. I mean, I guess it could just be that big, but that seems large. Because here, the... Assuming that this is not cracked on the connection. Yeah, so that's like the full thing. Pretty big, but maybe it's like... All about inline styles. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, so that max height does do it, but this thing doesn't respect it. And do it on the actual. I mean, it's not the worst if, if it's that big. I mean, I guess the width of this iframe iframe don't care. Iframe don't care. Oh, yeah, oh, there we go. I mean, so if I set it on that thing, but now the aspect ratio is wrong. So this would be bootstrap embed max height. Oh, that's not what I want. So container. Fluid, Jumbotron, maybe that needs to be fluid. These are all just magical strings that I don't understand. Like, oh, it's just that magically does it. Oh my goodness, that's not correct. Oh, that just does the whole thing, I see. Yeah, we actually want to put it in there. Oh, wait. This thing doesn't do it. So if I put it inside of this frame, that's okay, but it's. I think that this this response item is setting it based on. It's calculating it, not necessarily correct. Important. Try to take up the whole. Trying to embed a video into Bootstrap as it will do the whole screen. I want it to be. Responsive when the desktop like goes below five six. Almost helpful. Hmm, I see. Okay, so this could be a div style. Not no, what we're gonna call it, but we're gonna put this into our CS, CSS. We'll call this all in min width 560. Min width. This would be setting the. style padding bottom is hmm.
this is gonna say div style width it's minimum width is 560 set it to 560 and padding three Oh, and then eh, you shouldn't have any. Oh, yeah, nope. <laughs> All right, so not quite. Make sure I can clear out my. Nope, still doesn't shoot. Huh. Like there's like plugins or something that handles all this much more. Um, okay, so this CSS says that the width to 560, padding to on media all. Look at our developer tools. What is container fluid? Is that correct? Embed looks correct, but the iframe is small. Huh. Hmm. All right, I don't know what I did, but now it's working. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but now it's working, which doesn't make any sense. And it's actually, it's really big. That's so small. So, all right, maybe John will have to fix that up because I really don't know how to do it. Oh, may oh maybe it's not working. I don't know. Is delete that. Yeah, maybe they just left it really big. I bet they did. Yeah, see, it's still really big. I mean, I guess that's okay. If it's on air, it takes up the full thing. It's the width of this. All right, we're just gonna leave. So this looks really good. This is kind of how I wanted it to be. Like, I'd really prefer it to be like, you can see a little bit, you know what I mean? It's a little bit down there. I hate this background thing too. Like, the that should, span everything but you know we'll figure that out someday i guess what we can also do for now is get rid of this live show embed so we don't have an image in there and refresh it what is happening so i have a sub icon because you probably just got some Sweet subs from Clinton Rocksmith, even that s sub train away earlier today. Jim, that's what, that's what happened. Our gracious number one supporter. Let's see here. Large. Better gap up there. <laughs> oh, this is just Jumbotron in general. I see. Let's get rid of Jumbotron. With that stuff, just because we. Yeah, but we'll leave it in there. That's not how you comment things out, apparently. Oh, 
is how you comment things out apparently. Okay. All right, well, we'll just leave it as there, I guess. Whatever. Um, like that. The other question of what we can do is, how do I do add watch on Twitch button? Twitch button. Nope, that's, uh, that's a button. That's not... Hmm... Um, Follow buttons. Whoa. All right, get a Twitch follow button. Hmm, okay, I accept that. Twitch ad. What? Where's the Twitch one at? Shenanigans. What this one? If I want YouTube, uh, So this should be, this will probably be like the actual URL. This would be Visual Studio, okay. .NET Foundation, which here. I think he had a nice URL, no? GoldNet. But I'm barcode scanning? Yeah, I use Zebra Crossing uh, mobile from John Dick. That's who did. ZebraCrossing.net mobile. Nope. Oh gosh. Whew, that's like good. The good thing it wasn't a bad website. There you go. That's what I use in the Evolve app. And whatnot back in the day. I don't know if John's updated it recently, but he probably needs to. Probably. Okay. Corners rounded. Pick up circles. I would really like to make them uh, like that. I like that. That's cool. Get this code. Register and get the code. Oh that. Where there's like a day where there's like a easy official button. There we go. I would want like, uh, I guess I really want a, you need to add, load this application. All right, cool. Oh, down here. So let's do this into our CSHTML. At the bottom of the page, we're gonna want like a, I need to put that in a div. Subscribe. I put a.
Application, about page. It would ask us to, <laughs> it would ask me to buy. Great. Thanks. Thanks, share this. Genius idea. I mean, great results back from the internet. Classic. Net foundation. They looked really cool. I really was into them. And then they did that. All right, there we go. Subscribe. Cool. It's down there at least. Um, that's... Why does it say 18? Not correct. Maybe I'll do this. But it's the actual channel ID. I don't even think that has this on. More episodes. Class container. And then I could put something like a center. That's what I saw back in the day. Just put some centers in there. Okay, that works. Do I keep opening the store? Standard chain. Subscribe. Error. Okay, interesting enough. I guess we'll do flat layout. Figure a button. Oh, this is nice. That foundation. No, oh, it says 18. That's definitely not correct. Uh... Oh, there we go. I guess it is that. Okay, layout full. I like that. Dark. Like that. Nice, and then I could do a three in there, probably. And then I need like an official, official Twitch button for website. Hey Ryan, how's it going? You make it? You win? You're in? I don't understand. I guess I don't have a subscribe button for your channel. Add which subscribed button for website. Subscribe button on Twitch.
Hmm. But you can't do it. Guess you would just put a. I just want to put like a Twitch button on. Kind of hot out. You're probably hot and muggy. It's Houston. Twitch uh, logo. I guess officially I'll have to do like this. Combo. According to boop. Hey, how's it going? How is it going? Cracked all. It'd be nice if I could just I just want like a here's a button. Like everyone has buttons. Buttons. Oh good lord. There's like give me uh freaking social media icons. I want this. I don't put it in anything but a square. That's interesting. You can do um. Ba -da 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 -da. There you go. Right now we're going to try to add some buttons to the bottom of this page. With the glitch icon. Give me some PDFs. Not going to be PDFs. Give me some PNGs. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, let us put to this image folder. Add image. Oops. Stop debugging. Rename images. YouTube icon. I'd like the official one. YouTube branding guidelines. Brand resources. Ooh, beautiful website. I like that. Yeah, I, I'm curious. I kind of want if. Uh, let me see. I'm like the. I like this one. Don't don't do that. Historical Twitch TV. Wow, that's crazy. This is the one. All right, so we have images. Let's put in cube. That's one. Full color light. Oh, all right, cool. That. 
then we're going to put some image here. Want is okay. Then the other one that we want combo purple PNG. Boom. So big. Uh, I'll get an SVG. SVG for this. Not. Let's put in name which dot. So now we should be able to do down here. So do a image height x and source equals images slash twitch. https twitch.tv slash visual studio there not valid definitely valid let's try that There we go. So at least on the bottom, there'll be a subscribe button. And then I kind of want to copy and paste this up. So it's like chat live, like chat with us. I'll put the YouTube one in there. So, that looks almost okay. Yeah, I guess that would be here. Studio at. Oh, it doesn't like picks. I just want to make it that big. Oh yeah, I guess I need to make that a uh, switch without the thing. Probably just this one. Be better. I Hey, honey pop, honey pop. Let's see here. So we're gonna put these images. You name which of this over here. Place it. Fresh. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Then we're gonna make the height even smaller. It's like 35 picks. Yep. You can always dot bang what in there. So we're building out a brand new website for live.asp.net. And right now I'm working on basically just figuring out I guess I should make this a bit harder. Uh, I don't know why it's not centered. How do I center that horizontally? Uh, center, center vertically. OP div. Vertical center.
Uh, how's it going with ASP.NET development? It's not as uh, easy as I would like for it to be, I guess. My main challenges that I always have are uh, just laying out stuff is really challenging. That's my analysis of HTML. Like, just because everything is so... I'm way up, I feel blessed. It's, it's, all, it's all over the place. Just, I sort of feel like laying it out, columns, rows are just very, very difficult for some reason. And my assumption here is that Like I need to now put this in like here. This would be like vertical container. Like everything is everything is complicated. Like mobile is just so much easier to do. Just just in general. Like why do I have to have a billion tags? I mean like the thing is that mostly I mean, I guess, I guess it does. Uh, let me see. Bootstrap. And we're using Bootstrap, and that's my problem. Bootstrap. You Google it, but you're like, oh, of course you're using Bootstrap, right? So vertical align. It's probably what I need to do. So let's remove these, because you're probably right. And see, it's my struggle. It's like, it's so hard. Oh, I see. Span. Align base. Align middle. Align. And then it's like it's not even an attribute. Let's see if we get rid of that. Yeah, again, it's my biggest struggle. Like, there's a billion ways to do it. I guess this like script doesn't. Even... Just oh, I did. Oh, that's probably why. And, like, how do I add spacing in between these uh, objects? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, how do I do that? And it still didn't work. Uh, oh, I still spelled that wrong. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> yeah. But then there's no... I don't know. It's still not aligned. Oh, gosh darn it. Uh, that should be it. Uh, maybe I need to do a span. Oh, maybe. Oh. Oh. Interesting. So instead of doing this here, I could do maybe like a. So put that there, right? And then maybe I just wrap each of these in a span, right? Ah. Huh. Like that, right? That's also not correct. Make two rows, one with a column. Yeah, that seems complicated. I just want a column. Just, yeah, I don't even know how. There we go. So that worked. The spans worked in general. But I guess I could do a table. Yeah, you're probably right. And that'd probably be better, I assume. Um, I would do, yeah, what would you do? Like a table style. I guess you don't even need a style. Just a table. And then 
divs. Oh, instead of a span. I am using the bootstrap classes, yeah. Class equals row. Layout. Grid. Probably need to do this. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so... Yeah, like that. Okay, so... Get rid of this. Put this in here. Okay, so... There's one row, and then... I could do this as one. Now the assumption here is that probably this class could also be all SM, right? And then I can get rid of this. And then this one. Oh, and then I also need to do a line middle. And then this. Here. I do love Bootstrap. I'm a big fan. I kind of just found it, and I am I am in like with it quite a lot. Just since I'm not really a web person, that's my hardest problem with doing this. But it's a good learning opportunity, I think, so I understand how things work on the internet a little bit more. Okay, so that's better. Now they're spread out. I don't want that. Bid option. How do I squish them? You know what I mean? Just want to squish it down. Ah. There's some padding onto the container. This is where it like falls down. It's like oh, auto layout option. Equal width. Setting one width. Variable width content. I want it to just be small as humanly possible. Need to add column value. Like Responsive classes. Well, they should be the same size. And then one would go like a line. Line content end, and then this would be like a line content start. Like in my mind, one goes one way and one goes the other way. Because they're definitely like filling the area today, but no. I don't even think they're centered anymore. Text align right and the other left. It would be text right and then this would be text left. Right. See, we're doing it, doing it together. Doing it together. All right. They're still not aligned in the center anymore, though. This is a, pro a problem. Hold on. Okay. So now, like, they're not actually aligned. Uh, 
Okay. That one. Yeah, so this like the spans worked, obviously. But yeah, they, this looks better. I'm in, in like with it. I think there's an inspect thing there. It's cool. So. Oh, I wonder. Uh huh. But this needs a class on it. Yeah, everyone everyone wishes we had John. Ah. But I wonder if I can do Like I'm curious if I do instead of that. Line middle, right? Cuz this worked before inside of the span. many containers why so many containers but I say oh nope ah I feel like the uh Crap. Ah. Justify content center. Make the Twitch logo style align content center. Uh, oh, you think here? Mm. Oh, style. Just defy content. Nope. Nope. We want to do it on the div. The column. Yeah, I don't get any intelligence. So. Center. Centered. Not do. Not like that. Um. Ah. Center, center, uh, scrap, center. Line center, center. Hey, Lashlan, how's it going, buddy? A 
That's why I tried that. I tried style content. Image. Align, vertical align. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, so, so yeah. Align content center. Yeah, that makes sense. So the, the default there is probably, there's some, there's something here that I feel like it should do. I don't need that span then. I just feel like the, it's weird that the span works and then like, oh, we put it in a container, but I guess the container probably has its own set of things that it's doing makes sense bill didn't do it ah Uh, align, vertical, line, line, bootstrap, line, image, column, vertical. Line self center. Try this out. Let's try uh try this out. Do a V center, let's copy and paste this in. Display vertical fill, float none. Out. Maybe that'll do it. Line item center. There's so many things, so many properties. Uh let's It would be a lot easier in web tech, mobile technology. Way easier to give me a stack layout, people. Give me a stack layout. That's all I've ever wanted in life. Stack layouts. But actually, let's wait. Hold on. Um, control Shift R. Let me make sure that the CSS actually. Oh. Ah. And. Yeah, there you go. Put that class on the image oh you think put the oh put here uh because the image is inside of it basically edit well you think class equals b center does that not work uh. Um, that would make sense because it's like it's inside of this thing. Would it have to be on the. Would it have to be on the URL? Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like this is. Decentering everything. 
Like, here's obviously the... like nothing it refuses to do anything and my stupid mouse needs to not work ah we just go back to the spans it was so easy before the table uh check just in case very strange am i not am i not am i crazy am i crazy going crazy Vertical line mental. Could do, you could do style equals vertical align middle and nothing. Like on any div. doesn't do anything like oh because there's like uh oh, it's already doing it that's what this v center does you know what i mean i just kind of feel as if the sort of feel as if the that works i bet it needs to be Mm-hmm. Just so this also could be Nope. Div row. Here's what we do, ready? Because I hate this and I hate CS I hate HTML. Here's what we do, ready? do this we delete all this shenanigans okay then we delete this so that should work it's where it works um then in here let's also put So be this or out. Uh... Okay, so <sighs> I'll undo everything. Um, probably. So, let's see what this looks like.
Ooh. This needs to do and uh, dollar sign. Why is it doing that? Dollar sign. <laughs> I refuse to, to mess around with any more alignments. Chat room. I'm over it. I'm done with it. Very upsetting. Very upsetting. It obsess me more than anything. <laughs> hey, friends. Oh, why is that not working? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, that's cool. should be your rule. There we go. That with the team on. Interesting centering of It's not. Yes. So. I don't know if that's what John's gonna want, but I feel like this down here is pretty okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna commit this code. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a screenshot though. We're gonna do snip. Help wanted. This is this is what happens when I don't know how to do it. Help wanted. Uh, vertically align subscribe buttons on bottom of page. And these should be aligned. Yeah, that's how I do it. Boom. So then that way you're like, oh, what is it doing? Uh, all right, so then we can push this code up. So we added, added subscribe buttons and added YouTube frame so is live. Boop. Perfect. So far, that's good. We have these down here, these, these grids and rows. Clean up, clean up spacing of grids and rows. This is good because like anyone can do these. So like make, make groove spacing on archive videos. Currently like this and half screened. Should be more. Should be more like this. 
really. Though they have a lot of like black bars on here, which is like not correct. Probably just a spacing thing. Like these should be a little bit bigger, probably. The previous site, no, the previous site is. Um, I think it's just an a it's an ASP.NET Core website. In general, let me see. Um, bu -bu. It is a .NET, ASP.NET Core 2.1 app. Yeah. The reason we don't, uh, we're not using it is because we wanted to do it from scratch to include different APIs and make it extensible and kind of make it our own. So we're not actually adding like everything in it, but we're, we're kind of remixing it and understanding how it works because Damien built it originally. So we want to build it basically now um, and do things like customization and like put in show notes and do a bunch of stuff. So there's a lot of crossover and similarity, just, you know, we also want to, we're going to create the back end to be Azure Functions so it can cache data and then a mobile app can kind of pull in that data. We're kind of on our way here on this thing. We're a lot closer. Next week, we'll probably do, probably need to meet. Well, it should just be built into Bootstrap. You know what I mean? You would think. One would assume. The spacing seems very large here. I want it to be larger. And this this is too big. Code challenges for people. CSS spacing. Let's see. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. Um, make the text better each video. Right now, fonts are large. I guess, are we on Bootstrap 3? How do we know? Bootstrap 4? How do I know if I'm on Bootstrap 3? Uh, there's like a... Crap. This is, I think it's on Bootstrap 4, no? 4.1.3? Current version of Bootstrap. Oh, three. I don't know. I guess it's that. No. Why are there like a billion different? Oh, okay, here we go, yeah. 431. So I guess, could you just, uh, here, could you just like rename that to 431 and it would just work? Right? I'm way up, I feel blessed. blessed. Like that shouldn't be hard coded in a bunch of. Google, yeah, Google was wrong. Thank you for the follow, kinda. 4.3.1.3. Actually, I don't think that that works. Whatever I just did. I don't know if I, I don't know if I should touch it. Whatever I just did. How do you actually specify what version of things you want? Bootstrap. Oh, how do you say I want a different version of Bootstrap? I don't understand how that works. Hmm. 
Does my website have... Uh, oh, um... Oh yeah, isn't there like a little... Oh. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. See, I'm gonna put it as an issue. Someone figure that out. See, crap. Ah. As long as it came from the CDN, yeah. Let's see, ASP.NET Core Update Bootstrap. How to use it. Oh, is it a NuGet? No. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. All right, cool. Well, anyways, it's there. Manage client library. Oh, client side library. That's not it. Yeah, I don't, it's not in there. Not there. Not there anymore. Is that it? Let's see. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask I don't know. I'm gonna ask people next week. I gotta go. I gotta go record a podcast. <laughs> I don't know, I'm worried. Well, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make these Label, help wanted, boom. Like that. Coming along, coming along. See if we did anything today. Mm. Oh. Did that, that was a in progress, did it. At client side libraries, it should. Huh. Now we're not. I don't think we're gonna stream the pod today. I think it's. I'll ask Frank, but I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll see. Probably not. So I gotta get editing. It's gonna be a short one, I think, today. But maybe next week. I think next week. He's probably gonna get packed and stuff like that, so we'll see. Yeah, so far this looks pretty okay. I mean, this will all be super cleaned up by. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Thanks for the follow, Inc. I appreciate that. At some point, this will all be cleaned up by somebody way better at websites than me. But I feel like I think it's coming along. I mean, this looks this looks looks not great, but it's you know, it's the thing. It's the thing. Maybe we'll change those icons with just the YouTube icon so people know, but. Hmm. But I do like where this is, what's happening. Things are, things are happening. Okay. Power. NPM configuration. That's probably what I need to figure it out. All right, cool. I think it's going to do it. I think we're coming along. Maybe we'll do some community links next week. We'll see what John wants to do. He's going to have to fix up all this shenanigans. So, All right. I think I'm going to head out. I think I'm going to go record this pod with the Frank. Maybe we'll just complain about websites for the... 
I don't understand how the internet works. Uh, uh, Clinton, thank you so much. Of course, uh, don't forget to uh, follow. That's free. You can get notifications over I go live. I obviously will not be streaming this Friday. Obviously, I'll be at the Dev Summit, but we'll be live streaming that so you can hang out. Should be super duper fun. Uh, you can find that on the Xamarin Developers YouTube page or go to the Xamarin blog. Um, thanks everyone for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the help too. Uh, I know that I get frustrated with this web stuff, but it, it honestly does help to just understand the different ways of doing it because I am so new to just figuring it out. I will say hi to Matt, Matthew Robbins for you for sure. Uh, no, I really appreciate everyone hanging out and, and yelling different CSS and HTML commands uh, in the chat room, uh, which is always fun. So I'd super duper appreciate that. Uh, and it is fun. So hopefully if you have some spare time, you want to spin up some some help here. Super duper easy things. And feel free to do more than that too. I mean, go to town on that thing. So uh, yeah, right on the, the issues page over there. Feel free to send those pull requests down. We love it. So all right, I think it's going to do it for this week. We'll see how I'm feeling on my Dev Summit stuff. Uh, we'll go from there. Uh, but hopefully I'll see everyone uh, next week. I did confirm that John Galloway will be back uh, on on Tuesday. So he's going to be back, which will be super duper rad. Um, let's see if anyone else is streaming currently. And let's see if we can raid somebody. It's the computer is moving so slow. Is Fritz still on? What's he doing? Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Lane is on. on. As long as Fritz just got started. We'll, we'll send you over to Fritz because he deserves some love. So hang around. Fritz is working on probably web development. So, uh, all right, let's get out of here, folks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me super duper 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 appreciate it sharp fritz boop all right cool see you guys have a good one guys and gals have a great one cheers i'll see you soon great yeah 25 viewers heading over here thank you so much james for the raid i really really appreciate that uh, welcome Raiders, my name is Jeffrey, and uh, hey Clinton Rocksmith, thanks for the follow. Um, and we're working with a little blazer in ASP.NET Core 3.0, we're writing some C-sharp, we're building an application here. Thank you for the resub, James. James Mar